So for cell therapy, we precondition our patients with uh, uh, lymphodepleting chemotherapy. So we deplete the, we use non-myeloblative chemotherapy to basically render them lymphocyte and you know white blood cell free. Um, and in that context, not only do we make space for our cells to act and graft and proliferate, but we also deplete the negative regulators, Tregs and myelodrive suppressor cells and other cells which uh, suppress the host immune response. I don't know, you know, possibly something like that. I don't think a vaccine will, will do very well. It, it would depend upon the timing and, and how you administer it relative to a lymphodepleting chemotherapy regimen. But, you know, you're trying to boost the host response. Um, and I think that probably checkpoints and, and combinations with other things like that are going to be a more effective approach for vaccines. You know, and this is even true when we talk about uh, uh, neoantigen vaccines, because there have been some papers out there where you can use peptides and, and uh, RNAs, that, and they can Im elicit immune responses, and they can impact on some patients. But they don't do it as broadly as you would like. And again, it, it comes back to the same problem. Uh, the T cells are there anyway. Is a vaccine going to activate them enough to overcome the host environment? And to date, the answer has been not really. <laughs>